hello and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to manage your loading states for buttons in flutter so um, sometimes when you're working with flutter you would want to show a loading indicator when the button is performing an operation and it could be very difficult or repetitive when you have to always have a ternary that you are returning um, a circular progress indicator or the button itself depending on when it is loading and also you have to check the unpress to be now when it's loading so the user doesn't um, press the button again or call whatever function is making the button load so here is a solution that you can utilize to solve this problem in this case i've made an extension on the elevated button more specifically the elevated button but uh, you can use this on any widget at all but for demonstration purpose, I'm using the elevated button. So now the elevated button has a new extension called with loading. And then this with loading takes in a boolean that's whether we are loading or not. So this the boolean that's the elevated button we use to toggle a state. So if I add this code snippet here, there is just um, a, um, a set state to change the loading state. And then after three seconds, I set it back to false. So pressing on this button, we we'll change the loading state to loading. And then after three seconds, it should get back to um, its default state. So this will be after your function is done with its job or whatever you are doing. Right. So um, really quick, let's get into how to create something like this. So I'm going to move this function over here. And the whole magic of this come from that extension so the ability to extend already existing classes or the ability to add methods to already existing widget classes in that when we go to the declaration of this with loading realize that it's an extension and any name we give to the extension doesn't really matter so i can call this anything i want to call it so it's an extension called loading button on the elevated button widget and within um, after declaring the extension so if i'm to rewrite all this again it's going to be something like extension um, my loading um, button and on whatever type you want to extend right so this can be on a string it can be on a sizer box it can be on whatsoever you want to extend make this extensional so i'm going to make it on um, the elevated button or text button for now now within this extension this we are going to declare the method with loading and it's not compulsory to call it with loading you can call it anything you want so for now i'm going to call it to loading and this loading expects to return something so i'm going to return a widget And this loading function takes in a boolean call loading, right? And when we are loading, we return a text button that has the unpress set to now, and the child is a circular progress indicator, which is placed in a sizer box, right? Sizer box the square with dimension 24. So this is just to constrain um, the size of the circular progress indicator so it doesn't become too huge. Um, to the extent that it overflows the button because the default size of the indicator is a little huge so if we are not loading right so there's a ternary if we are not loading then we return this and this refers to the text button on which we are performing the extension right so it's just the same for the elevated button and now we want to use this um loading state on text buttons which now is available on every text button in our project we can just come to this and then change from center to column so probably i can wrap this in a column and also have um, another center so i'll duplicate this and then i'll call this text button now the text button doesn't have dots with loading on it it has loading as we just described so do to complete suggest loading 
and then it takes in a boolean value which we have declared at the top here so we can have a different value here so bool um, loading to which we set to false and then we can pass in loading to here and then we can change the text as well to um, perform function right and let me just bring everything down so main axis alignment set to the center and then some space so there's some space between the two buttons now this text button has the loading um, property on it now right now so loading which takes in a boolean value and we have declared a boolean value in our state which initially is set to false for now when we press on this button it just works like a normal text button it does nothing there is no loading states being changed but then in the on press of this button we can set state and change the loading um, boolean to true and that will automatically change whatever text button is being rendered so when the loading is true what do we do we return a different text button that has the on press set to now and the child is a circular progress indicator so that's the logic behind this whole switching between loading states and then the normal button in this particular case i'm going to comment out the future which toggles the button automatically so with that out of place when i press on this perform function button this should turn to um, a loading indicator right so there's a normal button but uh, on press is set to now so it's grayed out and then we see the loading indicator if i bring this future back and how to start my app you realize that after three seconds this state is going to be changed right so if i want to have loading state across your entire app on buttons and you don't want to always be repeating yourself you can use the extension um, feature in that to extend whatever widgets you want to have the loading state on this can include buttons containers whatever widgets you want to have a loading state on you can extend it and then pass in a boolean and based on that boolean you can return a different form of that widget just like we've done here and also remember that this refers to the text button that's the default text button you are working with so when we are not loading we return this and this is the text button which is the normal text button we have so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one